and I'm 30 years old. I live in East Lansing, Michigan. I teach at Michigan State University. I'm also an artist and mainly I draw and paint. As a teenager, I drew and I made a lot of stained glass pieces because my art teacher was really into that as well. Um, so I was continually figuring out who I was through music and art. My formal training as an artist began when I went to the University of Wisconsin and I earned a Bachelor of Fine Arts in painting. And so I came to painting late in my undergraduate study, so I really was interested in going on to grad school. So I went to the University of Iowa and I got my Master of Fine Arts in painting and then I also had a printmaking minor. And there I was able to meet so many more people in my same boat of people figuring out what kinds of work they want to make, studying more in depth about art theory and art history and it really gave me a great context for where I am or where I was going to be as a painter. Since I've started, um, Drawing and painting, like say in, in college, I've changed a lot because my ideas are more concentrated. I have a more um, concentrated body of work that deals with um, more similar subject matter, most specifically women and women with really fantastic hair. It happened because I made this painting once and started looking online for images of wigs and that was a part of a painting and I thought wow this is really really fun to do it's thick paint I could insert any kind of color into hair it can be really bright color it can be more naturalistic um, I just found hair really fun to paint so I made a lot of paintings using you know the shapes and textures and um, profiles and poses of women with good hair uh, or just fantastic hair for a long time. Now more, I'm more using portraiture and drawing so I've kind of not thought about color as much recently in this work which is a little bit freeing so I can think more about composition or surface quality of graphite onto paper. It's really distilled down to the person and what maybe that person is thinking, what occupies their thoughts, um, and them also feeling an idea of glamour or um, being focused on their image as well. This is a finished drawing from about a year ago. Um, this is really typical of the works in the series I've been doing where I, there's a woman's head um, and a portrait. These usually come from, I'll show you, I've been cutting out uh, images out of these 60s and 70s hairdo magazines and they'll have a hairdo and then like the instructions of how you should set your rollers and how to get this kind of bouffant hairdo. Um, these came from like supermarket checkout little books that I think like you know housewives would buy. So I've been collecting those and I've been cutting out the actual hair even though I'm really interested in hair but I've been just using that shape as a piece of negative space for another image to come into. Um, so the image that's inside of this woman's head is actually one I took a few years ago. It's in a cornfield where Buddy Holly and the Big Bopper um, crashed their plane. And so that was me and my, um, my friend walking through that field and their shadows are there. Um, and so there's some heaviness that I know about that, but there's also, I think, a little bit of heaviness in the image there with looming shadows. Um, so those pairings of the backstory of where the inside head image comes from, and then maybe just kind of the um, regular or regularity of these women and their poses and what they're doing, um, could act like she's thinking about memories or thinking of a place or a time. And that's what I like to get across. So I'm mainly drawing right now, but I've also been thinking about ideas of sculpture and maybe how, how can my photorealistic ways of drawing or painting incorporate into sculpture or found objects or installation. So that's somewhere I'm interested in. I don't have 
concrete plans or ideas because I've gotten really comfortable making two-dimensional work and so it feels like a big jump to go three-dimensional but I see that coming. The artist in society I think needs to keep society in mind. Um, a lot of art is really referential to current issues, to things happening in the world and I think the artist the artist's role is to shake things up, to reframe and give a new look on issues within a fine art context. Maybe it's like jumbling up um, our ideas and giving new perspectives. And to have people look at things beyond screens or television or um, media so that people are having a different kind of experience within a show, whether it's installations or drawings. For me, I think drawing is important because there's something really lo-fi about it that I spend my time using a pencil and paper and I'm putting out images and combining them and thinking about how does the how does mark making accumulate into something that gets you to think about bigger issues. And to me there's something old-fashioned about that even though it's not unique really, but I think that's comforting and that's what I find important. Maybe it's for me, or maybe I think art in general, to have people go to museums, go to galleries, and see a different kind of expression that might be outside of their daily lives.